Stop using dull forms. Add logos and images to enhance credibility and increase engagement. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. Today, I'll be showing all you QuickBase junkies two ways to add an image to a form, plus a few formatting tricks to get it looking just right. Let's imagine I work for a healthcare facility and have clients fill out a survey in QuickBase. I want this survey to include our logo so that the client feels more confident filling it out. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as uploading the file to the form. Any images we use in QuickBase must be stored on the internet. So the first way I can get an image into QuickBase is by finding its link on the web. Let's head back to that other website. And I happen to have a page that contains our logo. If I right click on that logo, you'll notice the option for copy image address. This is exactly what I wanna do. Heading back to my QuickBase, I can now customize my form. Since I wanna add the logo at the very top of the form, I'll insert a new row and choose text. I'm going to use this text element because I can also include HTML tags. I'll check the box for HTML and begin typing. I'm gonna use a left angle bracket followed by IMG. This is the tag for the image. I'll include the source or SRC followed by the equal sign. And now I'll have quotations followed by the link to that image that I copied. I'll end that with the other quotation and close my angle bracket or image tag. Now this is a very basic setting, so let's see what this looks like. With just those basics, I can see I now have the logo on my form. Unfortunately, it's a little larger than I'd like, and it isn't quite in the upper left-hand corner where I'd like it to be. So here's where we can do a few more customization options. To change the height or width, I'll enter the word width, followed by the equal sign, and then the number of pixels that I'd like that width to be. Let's make this 250. I'll click Save. Ah, that's looking better. Now it's just the right height and width, but I still want to move it a little to the left and separate it somewhat from that name field. Let's go back into our customization. To make these additional changes, I'll need to add another element called Style followed by the equal sign, and then a quotation. And this time, we're gonna add some padding to the bottom. We'll set that equal to 25 pixels, PX, semicolon, and another quotation. Now with the padding on the bottom set to 25 pixels, I'll save. And now I've got that space between the name field and the logo. Let's make that final change to move the logo over to the left. In this case, I'll need to add a margin. So I'll add in margin on the left, set that equal to a negative amount. So here I've got negative 50 pixels, again, followed by that semicolon, and I'll click Save. And now you can see that logo is shifted over to the left just right. If you'd like more information on how to use the text element and HTML on your forms, check out my HTML and CSS cheat sheet for forms. It has lots of information, including how to format text, how to add images, how to add links, as well as buttons. So the other way we can add a logo to a form is by uploading the image to QuickBase. I actually recommend this over using an image stored on the internet somewhere because you don't necessarily have control over that image on the internet. And I really don't recommend just going out and choosing random pictures from the internet at all. So using your own company logos and image files, we can upload those to QuickBase, store them there, and then access them on our form. Let's see how that's done. I'll jump over to the images table. Here I have a table specifically used for storing images. You'll notice that I've got some of my own images here with the QuickBase Junkie logos. Let's go ahead and add our new image of our home care logo. I'll save the file. 
And now with this image file, I can right click on the link you see here and copy the link address. Heading back to our form and the customization options, I can replace the existing address with the address of our logo in the QuickBase and click Save. When using images in this way, you're going to want to make sure that anyone who may be viewing those images has view access to that table. Otherwise, they will see a broken link. Your users don't need access to the table. You can hide the table in the table bar, but they will need access to view those images in order for them to show up on the form. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on adding logos to your forms. If you did, please leave a comment below. If you learned something new, please like this video, and to get your regular QuickBase Junkie fix, subscribe to QuickBase Junkie on YouTube or visit QuickBaseJunkie.com.